Hey, it's been a while since I talked about this game, but version 0.8 has come out. You'll see there's a new title screen with new music playing. I'll have to look up what this theme is. But yeah, there's a few new changes in this one. A couple of extra levels and some other things to show off, so this will be a pretty quick video where I show off that stuff. First of all, you'll see the maps are different now. See, I'll look around all these maps where... This is the alternate Earth map. And you'll notice there's a lot of new uh, ways to get around. Now you get around via planes rather than pipes. And all the level layouts are different. You'll see here's where the Green Switch Palace is, located near... Uh, I think that's South America. Yeah, you take these planes all around now to get to where you want to go. Anyways, I gotta go to the uh, shop and show off this. Boy, this is really expensive. All the prices in shops have gone up. You'll see here that buying a random item now costs $500, where it used to cost uh, $300. All the uh, power-ups here are more expensive now, too. A sci-fi suit is now a thousand rupees. You'll probably also notice this, but Roll now has a trooper suit upgrade. I'll show that off in a moment. I'll, I, can ac I actually know a level where I can find one. You'll see buying a weapon is now uh, 200. This is uh, the health refill item, which is now 100, and st where it used to be 50. All the uh, other items are more expensive now. 1,000 for the anti-knockback, and most importantly, you're going to have to save up your rupees if you want Vile and Zero. They now cost 100,000 rupees to get them. I jumped onto this level, since I know I can get a trooper suit in the Scandinavian campaign stage, so that's why I'm here. There's the heavy machine gun. There it is, the trooper suit. The trooper suit actually dresses Roll up as Aerie from Metal Slug. Her regular uh, arm cannon blasts are now the bullets from Metal Slug, complete with the sound effects. And her charge shot becomes the drop shot from Metal Slug, which fires a little grenade out that will blow up enemies. It actually does a lot of damage. I've taken out uh, some of the bigger enemies with it in a single hit. I'll show off the... Unfortunately, unlike Mario's uh, Marco suit, Roll can still only fire uh, forward. I can't fire up or diagonal like you can with the Base Buster as Roll, or with the uh, pistol as Mario when he has his trooper suit, which is also based on Metal Slug. A bit of a minor change, but the cruise control level is now a uh, work in progress, and I can no longer go to the stage. You might remember I went to the cruise control stage in, its, in my playthrough, but now it's no longer available here. Like I said in that playthrough, originally you would get on the boat and get to talk to some people while collecting rupees, and when the cruise ship took off, you'd see a cutscene where Ganondorf talks before going through a portal. But as you can see, the level is no longer accessible. I can show this off. Every character is now capable of swimming, including Sonic. No longer... The, do you have to pick up the uh, life vest to swim as any character? Now all characters are capable of swimming. Sonic, Simon Belmont, and the other characters that couldn't swim before still swim the same way they did when they had the life vest previously. Whereas Mega Man and Proto Man actually have a new swimming animation. Here's Mega Man's swimming animation. Proto Man is a similar one. He just holds his shield out in front of him while performing the same swimming animation as Mega Man. There's a new stage in the Mushroom Kingdom over where uh, Mushroom Hill used to be. Now it's called the Mystic Abyss and it's a completely different level. Sonic Bull. This level actually uh, combines uh, the Mushroom Kingdom with parts from Final Fantasy. There's a character down here you can talk to. I'll go over to him and we'll f talk to him. Sonic Bull. Sonic Bull. 
You got the standard uh, bits and bots, spinies, and the usual Mario enemies. <laughs> the red uh, bit, I believe, or a bot. It's one of those from Zelda 2. Yeah, I'll play up to where we find the uh, new character you can talk to in this stage. You see I got uh, the trooper suit with Luigi that still makes him guile from Street Fighter 2. Spiny fall in the pit. <laughs> There's a goblin from Final Fantasy. There's one of those walking bomb things from Final Fantasy. When they see you, they just fly at you and explode. Take this little dragon guy and pick him up. Fire flowers, but I got two trooper suits with the Luigi, so I don't need them. Got the third red coin. There's another one of them. <laughs> Take out the goblins. Oh, there's a Buster Beetle. Threw his uh, ice blocks at me and took my trooper suit away. There's the checkpoint. Over here on the left is the guy we can talk to. He's from Final Fantasy IV. I think his name was uh, Tella. He was the uh, wizard that goes with you. If I got his name wrong, the text will pop up and tell us what it is. If we talk to him, he says, Confound it! This isn't the cave of Eblon! Bah! Where is this? The Mushroom Kingdom, you say? Hmm. Why does that sound oddly familiar? I do believe I've read of such a mystical land before. Isn't that the realm of the sacred golden Triforce and where you have to trap all those little creatures inside small balls? He's mistaking the Mushroom Kingdom for Hyrule and the world of Pokémon. Ah, no, no, silly me, I'm getting it all muddled again. It's the land of the speedy blue Porcupine and his flying badger friend. <laughs> that's the world of Sonic. Yes, that's the one. My memory may not be what it used to be, but we got it in the end. So yeah, kind of an amusing conversation you can have there. He says that no matter what character you're playing as. We're back in the uh, Fortress of Traps, which not only has been overhauled, but has a new boss to fight, and we'll show it off. You'll see Death appears, and he summons... That's the albino Mauser from Super Mario USA. Only instead of bombs, he's throwing skeletons. And just like a, a fight in Mario 2, you have to throw these back at him. Yeah, the albino Mauser was infamous for being the most difficult boss of the original Super Mario USA, or Doki Doki Panic. You'll see he now throws uh, little balls that will summon death to do his scythe attack. I lost all my power-ups, but I still beat him. In Super Mario 2, the albino Mauser wasn't a ghost, and wasn't even in the game. He had been replaced with Claw Grip. I just took out General Morden. This is my first time beating him in this uh, build. I wanted to show off the cutscene that plays now that you when you first complete a world boss stage. It now shows you obtain the key, which unlocks one of the doors required to get into the final world, which is World Zero, the... Twisted Reality. I don't know if the Twisted Reality is available to go to yet. I'm guessing it still isn't, since there aren't any stages to go to there. But yeah, that's uh, that'll be me covering Z version 0 0.8 of Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.